Be welcome to Flight Training Europe Tutorials. You will learn how to complete a full avionics check on the Garmin G1000 NXI. While completing the Before Takeoff Checklist, you will find a task called G1000 Setup and Full Avionics. The first action is to check that in both radios, COM1 and COM2, the correct frequencies are set. On NAV1 Active, the VOR frequency required for the standard instrument departure. Align the heading bug with the active runway. Set in the altitude selector the flight level or altitude approved by the ATC when you obtain the IFR clearance. By pressing the CDI soft key, check that NAV1, NAV2 and GPS modes are visible in the HSI. Press the DME soft key and identify the DME equipment by pressing the DME soft key in the audio panel. Check on NAV2 that the localizer shows a sensible deflection to the runway. Display the NAV1 VOR on the single needle by selecting bearing number 1. Check that the proper NDB frequency is displayed on the ADF and make it visible on the HSI. Press antenna mode on the ADF and check the needle deflection of 90 degrees and identify the NDB by pressing the ADF soft key in the audio panel. Press ADF and check a sensible reading on the HSI. Remove the bearing to ADF. It is not needed for the standard instrument departure. Press the time reference soft key to check the speed tabs and the elapsed timer. Now we move on to the multifunction display. By using the bigger knob of the FMS button, go to the auxiliary tab. Select the purge Trip Planning to check that the actual time and fuel on board are correct. Move to the next page called Utility to check that the aircraft status is in air. Move to the next page, GPS Status, to check that the GPS signal strength is correct for both antennas, GPS 1 and GPS 2, with a minimum of six satellites available on each. Press the SBAS subpage and check that IGNOSS is active and the GPS solution is full 3D accuracy with SBAS augmentation. Move to the next page, System Setup, and check that the correct display units are set. Move to the next page, System Status, to check that all of the line replaceable units, LRUs, are available. Press the soft key antenna test and check that the oral warnings in the audio panel are audible. By pressing the soft key clear for more than three seconds, you will display the map page back to the main screen. It is now time to insert the standard instrument departure. Press soft key PROC and select departure. Select the desired departure and press enter to load. By pressing the FMS little knob, you will navigate through the flight plan and you may delete those waypoints on the flight plan that will not be used. Press clear and enter to delete them. Once the flight plan is loaded, reset the map page and press the soft key chart to display the airport Jeppesons chart. With this, the G1000 is set up and the full avionics check is now completed.